Hello friends, in today's video we are going to complete uh, the first the problems in exercise 1.1, question number 5, 6 and 7. So first let us solve question number 5. In that, the question is given as Mohan deposits to rupees 2000 in the bank account and withdraws 1642 from it the next day. Then if withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by negative, withdrawal is shown as negative integer and they are asking how will you show the amount deposited. If withdrawal is negative, what will be deposit? It is addition or adding plus sign. Okay, so we will represent amount deposit as plus 2000 and amount withdrawn as minus 1642. Okay, and finally they have asked if he withdrawn 1642 from his bank account, what is the amount remaining in his account? So if we want to find out the amount remaining, what we have to do? We have to subtract the amount withdrawn from the amount deposited. So we are going to find out amount remaining. Amount remaining equal to 2000 minus 1642. Okay, 2000 minus 1642. So what will be the amount remaining in his bank account? 2000 minus 1642 So the amount remaining will be is 3358. Okay, so this will be the amount which will be remaining in this account. Okay. Next one, question number 6. Here, it is given Rita goes 20 km towards east from a point A. So, we have to draw this number line. Point A. And the direction toward the left is west. Here, it is east. West and east. And she is going to a point B. Okay. Trita goes 20 km towards east from a point A to point B. From there she moves 30 km towards west along the same road. In the distance towards east. Okay. Now they have given that the distance from here towards east is positive and the distance towards west is negative. Towards this is negative. Okay, these are the two points they have given. Now, she is travelling from the point A to the place called B and the distance she travels is 20 km. Okay, she travels 20 km. Now it is said that the distance to the left side of this is negative. And they have said that from B to uh, this side, towards west, she is traveling 30 km. So how will you represent 30? Because she is traveling to, to the west. And the question is given that whatever distance she is traveling to the west, it is negative. So, they have said it is 30 km, but since she is travelling to west, what should be the sign in front of it? It should be minus 30. Why minus 30? Because she is travelling from B towards the west. Any direction or position towards west is negative. So here she is travelling minus 30 km. We should not write kilometer there. So you should write minus 30. Okay. Now, what is the 
taught the, what is asked here by which integer would you represent her final position from A? You have to represent, let the final position be C. How will you represent her final position at C? So what will be her final position here? She is going 20 km to this side and once you observe that you can see the distance up to here the same but negative 20, isn't it? From A to B is 20 km, she is returning from B to A. How much km she has covered? It is minus 20. Now from A to C, how much extra is she travelling? Hmm? How much extra is she travelling? You just have to minus. Okay, subtract this value. So minus 30 is the total distance minus 30 minus minus 20. So, in the previous class I told you, if two negative numbers comes together, it will become positive. So, distance will be minus 30 plus 20. So, what, how much is the distance she takes to read C? It is minus 10. Okay. Minus 10 is the total distance from A to C. And say that here till there it is minus 20 from minus 20 to reach minus 30 how much do you have to travel she has to travel 10 more okay from b to a it is already given it is 20 kilometer but she is traveling 30 kilometer so from 20 to reach 30 how much she has to go is 10 okay and the direction is negative so you just have to write minus 10 okay you can also do like that Question number 7. Before doing that, you have to understand what is a magic square. What is a magic square? Now, a magic square contains squares like this. And the characteristic or speciality of magic square is that if you add the numbers diagonally from here to here or from like this from these three this this anyhow you add diagonally vertically horizontally however you add the numbers in those squares you will get the same answer if it is a magical square however you divide you will get the same answer that is what we are going to do now. So the numbers given 5 minus 5 0 5 minus 5 0 minus 1 minus 2 3 minus 4, 7 and minus 3. Okay, these are the numbers given. Column, third column. 
Okay, first column, second column, third column. First, we will add the first rows together. So, I'll write first row 5 minus 1 minus 4. So, we have to add 5 plus minus 1 plus minus 4. Okay, we have to find the answer here. So, you know, when plus 1 minus comes together, we have to put the negative sign. So, we have to write like this 5 minus 1 minus 4. Here we can see this is positive 4 and here minus 1 and minus 4 are coming together. So if we have the same sign, what we have to do? Add it together and put the negative sign. So what will we get here? 5 minus 5 which is equal to 0. Okay, 5 minus 5 equal to 0. Why this minus 5? Minus 1 and minus 4 coming together. We we'll put the negative sign and add them together. So plus 5 and minus 5, what is the answer? 0. Now we will add the second row. Second row. What is the answer here? Minus 5 plus minus 2 plus 7. Okay. Now since there are two negative signs together, we will put like this. Minus 5 minus 2 plus 7. Here minus 5 minus 2, what will we get? Minus 7. Minus 7 plus 7. What is the answer? 0. Okay, we got 0 there. Now let us add third row. Third row. 0 plus 3 plus minus 3. If you are putting negative or positive value, then you have to put in the brackets. Now if you open the brackets, you can see 0 plus 3 and this part will become minus 3. So, positive 3 and minus 3. Again, what is the answer? We get the answer 0. Okay. So, we have seen that when we add in all the numbers in the direction of row, we get the same answers 0. Okay. Is it clear? Now, we are going to add all the columns. Let us find out.
these are the two diagonals. Okay. In blue Hamilton, first diagonal. In red, I am writing the second diagonal. First and second diagonal. So let us add the numbers in the first diagonal. First diagonal. So what is the first number in first diagonal? This minus four. Minus four here. Minus two and zero. Okay. So when we add here, that minus six. Okay. So now let us add the second diagonal. Second diagonal. In second diagonal, first number is five. Five. Then minus two, minus three. So what will you get here? Five minus two and minus three. So minus five equal to zero. Here we can see that the answer we got is not equal to zero. So what did I told you about magic square? If we add all the numbers in the rows, in the columns, as well as in the angles, you should get the same answer. But here we are not getting the same answer when we added the two diagonals. Okay, we have seen that all the answers are zero except the first diagonal. So, is it a magic square? No. Okay, this is not a magic square. Hope you have understood this. Now, let us do the second part of it. the numbers given 1 minus 4 minus 6 1 minus 4 minus 6 minus 10 minus 3 and 4 minus 3 and 4 0 minus 2 minus 7 ok these are the numbers we are given Subtract 4 from 13, we will get 9. 
So all the numbers we got here is negative 9. Okay. So we have clear that. Now let us do the addition of the columns. So first column. 1 plus minus 4 plus minus 6. What is the answer? 1 minus, plus minus 6 and minus 4, you will add that, you will get minus 10. So, since 10 is bigger and its sign is negative, you put the negative sign and subtract 1 from it. What is the answer here? Again minus 9. Okay. Second column. Minus 10 plus minus 3 plus 4. So both negatives, we will add them. We will write minus 13 plus 4. So the negative 13 is bigger. So 13 minus 4, again we get minus 9. Okay. Third column. 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 7. So, 0 minus and minus are also negative. Minus 9. So, 0 minus 9 equal to minus 9. Here also we got all the numbers. Row as well as column negative 9. So, two more steps are there. What are they? We have to find the diagonal, sum of the diagonals. So, first diagonal. Second diagonal. Okay, first and second diagonal. First diagonal will start from here. First diagonal. One. Okay, since it is written in red, I will add the red. Zero plus minus three plus minus six. Here, what will we get? Minus 3 and minus 6, answer is negative, add them. Minus 3. Okay. Now, second diagonal. Concept. Now we will uh, do the rest of the problem in another video. Watch my videos. Please subscribe and in doubt, please put in the description box. Thank you.